Let me preface this video by saying that I absolutely hate having to redo things in video games. Whether that's backtracking, redoing a section because you failed or whatever. And well, that's pretty much the entire point of Evil Ghost Servant Simulator. But having said that, I had a ball, so let's take a look at it. Known as Akuryo no Geboku Simulator in Japanese, this is a free indie game that you can play for yourself right this very moment if you so wish. You can find the link to it in the description, so go check it out if it sounds like your thing. It's touted as a 3D action horror game that was built in the Unreal Engine, but the only real horror is figuring out how to get past all these damn ghosts that swarm you at once. The gameplay is rather simple. You move with the WASD keys, swing your mouse around to move the camera, and by holding down the left mouse button, you can attack. A simple click will do a quick hit that will merely stun a ghost, and will need to be followed with another hit once the ghost comes back too, whilst holding the button down will instead charge a super hit that will kill a ghost in one go. You can also press the left shift key to run, although you don't run very fast, and use the space bar to jump. There doesn't appear to be any real reason to use the jump feature, but Either way, it's nice to have. You start the game by talking to Sadami, who is very clearly not Sadako. Not at all. She speaks in broken katakana and kanji to give a nice creepy feel, and she tells you that starting from today, you will be her servant. Well, okay then. She then orders you to obey her. Naturally, you click yes. Although, if you decide to be a sassy servant and refuse her, well, you get a neat little surprise. Here, you can finally move around for the first time, and you find yourself in a tiny room with Sadami in the corner. There's not a whole lot you can do here, so head over and talk to her with E to pick the main quest, and she gives you today's instructions. She reveals there's a ghost living in a nearby abandoned building. She doesn't like him, so she wants you to head over and beat his ass. Naturally, you'll need a little help to do this, so she hands you a Zero Formula Bat, which I'm assuming is a riff on the Fatal Frame series. She tells you that if you charge it up, you can defeat things in a single hit. This is probably the most important takeaway from what she has to say, so remember it, and then head outside. From here is the meat of the game. You'll find yourself on a dark, rocky path, where you'll no doubt want to test out all of the buttons, and then it's time to batter up. As Sadami said, we need to get to the abandoned building to get rid of the ghost lurking inside, and it's a single path there, not very hard to find. However, that path is littered with possibly the best looking ghosts I've ever seen in a video game. They are adorable, and they float towards you with this creepy smile on their face as they try to drain you of your sanity. Don't get hit, because every time you do, they drain your sanity meter up in the top left corner, and once that hits zero, it's game over. However, time a nice batter up and you can yeet these adorable little freaks into the nether realm, and how satisfying it is. And the difficulty, of course, is in the timing. At first, you'll probably get hit a lot as you try to figure out when you need to start charging and when you need to let go to land the perfect hit. But once you've got it, it's not too hard. You'll be sending these dudes to meet their maker like you're the Terminator at a Sarah Connor party. You can move while you're charging the bat, so that helps greatly. And there's really nothing more satisfying than getting the perfect bonk and watching them fly off into the sky like Team Rocket. <laughs> It's good stuff. Initially, you'll only encounter these small fry in a one-on-one -on -one situation, but as you get closer to the abandoned building, you'll find yourself in for a little surprise. Better hope your sanity is high, because it's party time and suddenly a whole swarm of these creepy yet adorable ghosts appear at once. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't able to defeat them with the traditional bonking method. I'm not actually sure that you can. Several ghosts will appear behind you, blocking your path and pushing you forward. I'm sure you can sneak past them, but 
It's incredibly difficult because you tend to get stunned if one touches you, and the path is rather narrow. It's also important to note that, yes, you will die if you fall over the edge in this game, as I discovered several times. So you can't just drop down and go around them. You need to find a way through them. It's difficult, but it can be done. Although, if you follow the method I did, then uh, don't be surprised when you turn around and see... <coughs> 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 You might die a few times trying to find the correct way to go, as the game doesn't tell you, but once you get into the building, it's time for the final boss battle. Here, it'll ask you if you're ready to go, so click yes, and you're in. Inside the building, you'll find a purple ghost that looks just like the swarms outside. But this guy is special. He comes with sweet boss battle music, and he can attack with fire, meaning he doesn't even have to touch you. Again, better hope your sanity is high or it's game over and you have to start all the way from the beginning again. But remember what Sadami said about charging the bat up for a one-hit kill. Yeah, well, that works on the boss as well. So I actually found him to be easier than getting past the giant swarm outside, which was where I died every single time. Once you figure out how to get through that part, the rest isn't too bad. And that's it. That's the game. Once you bonk the final boss into oblivion, Sadami congratulates you and says you have become the strongest manservant around. Just what everyone wants to hear. Here you can end the game, to which she'll ask if you're really certain you want to do that, and you get a neat little Yurusunai screen before the game closes. As I said at the start of this video, I really don't like replaying things in video games. I think it stems from the fact that I have so little free time now that it feels like I'm wasting it if I have to go back and do the same thing over and over again. This is very much a me problem, and I was literally on my last try before giving up when I finally got past the swarm to face the final boss, so it was quite satisfying to finally get there and finish it. The game's creator claims that it should take you about 10 to 15 minutes to finish the game, which seems about right. It took me 17 minutes all up with experimenting with what the game had to offer and how to deal with the horde to finally defeating the boss. The game is nothing amazing to look at, but for me that's the charm. You're just a blue dude holding a blue bat, fighting derpy ghosts with creepy smiley faces and bonking them to their second deaths. It's nice to stop once in a while to look around and see what little details have been added to the game, but best to do that once you've cleared the area out first. The sound effects are pretty damn funny as well, with a satisfying thwack once you hit the ghosts and some neat music during the intense battles. The creator said it took about two weeks to make this in Unreal Engine, and it's not a bad way to spend 15 minutes if you're looking for a little ghost batting action sometime. Overall, I enjoyed it. It's not a horror game so much as it is an action game where you battle ghosts, but the first time you run into that horde is, admittedly, a frightening moment. Very well done. You'll probably die a lot, but once you know what you're doing, the game can be run in probably a few minutes at best. Assuming you survive the horde, that is. You don't really need to speak Japanese to play this one either. You can follow the buttons I clicked earlier to get through the opening and then it's pretty much entirely batting action from there on out. So if it interests you, do check it out from the link in the description. And if you do, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below as well. I'd love to hear what you thought of the game and if you found any other ways past the horde. But until then, stay safe guys and I'll see you again next time. Ha <laughs> ha